Hi everyone. Aaron here for Zolo tech and AirPods pro two or AirPods pro second generation as Apple calls them have been out for a little while. And with the new AirPods pro come new features. So I wanted to share with you five AirPods pro two tips you might not know. Now with AirPods pro two, we gained a new adaptive transparency feature. This will limit loud sounds around you when you have transparency mode on, but it allows other sounds to come through too. So Apple showed this in a construction site where you might have loud noises. It will limit those sounds, but still allow you to hear everything else. However, sometimes it can bring in noise you don't want, or if you just want it to be transparent, like normal, you can disable this feature, go into settings. Once your AirPods are connected, go into the new menu within the menu, scroll down and you'll see adaptive transparency. You can turn this off to bring it back to like it was before, whether you had AirPods max or AirPods pro first generation. I typically like this, but sometimes it will limit things that I want to actually hear. So you may want to adjust this depending on your overall environment and situation. Now, a nice little thing Apple added, if you bought these from the Apple store and had an engraving on it is a little Easter egg. When you open it up and connect them, the animation will actually have your engraving on it. So if you ordered this directly from Apple, from the Apple store, they can engrave it and then customize it. So it shows your actual emoji or memoji here. You can put words, you can put different memoji, whatever you'd like will show up. So this is something I'll probably try out in the future. And as you can see here, people have posted online that it actually shows for them. So that's a great feature. Unfortunately, if you have this done in stores that can actually engrave on site, you won't have that show up. But if you order from the Apple store, you'll see that. Now with AirPods pro second generation, the case actually gains speakers. These speakers are great, but you need to make sure that you have find my enabled so that if you lose these, you can actually locate them. So you want to first make sure you can do that by going into settings, then go down. Once you're in the actual AirPods menu again, let's open that back up. We'll go into the menu again within the menu. If we scroll down, you'll see that we have find my network. Make sure this is enabled so that you can locate them. You can also check this by going into find my tap on show in find my within find my, you can verify it's working. You'll see the location on the map. You can play a sound use find nearby, which is new as well, using the U one chip to locate the actual device themselves. However, the U one is limited to the case. If you have the AirPods separated from the case, they actually won't show up using the find nearby feature. You'll still have to use an audible alert to try and locate them. So make sure they're in the case. Also keep in mind, sometimes when you're using these, if the case is really low on power, like it is right now for me, sometimes the features don't work as well. So make sure this is charged. This is down to 4%. I need to charge it right away. Additionally, you can customize notifications to make sure that it notifies you or doesn't notify you when you leave them behind. So it's really nice. We have all these features now. Of course, some of these were added with different versions of iOS as well. Back in the AirPods menu, if we scroll down, you'll see personalized spatial audio. Spatial audio has been around for a little while, but with iOS 16 and AirPods that support it, you can now use personalized spatial audio. And if we go into that, it says you can use your iPhone camera to personalize spatial audio for the shape of your ears. This definitely makes a difference and I highly recommend setting it up. It uses your camera to do this. So if we go through tap continue, it's very much like face ID. And then also for your ears, it actually dings to let you know, it actually has a good picture of your ears. So we'll tap on start front camera view or front view capture. And there we go. We'll put myself in the frame and just like face ID, you want to move your head around. It says, look down and then we'll hit continue. Now it says place this on your right ear. So start right ear capture, and then I'll do it for my left ear. And it actually makes an audible tone when it sees your ear. So you have to try it a few times, but you don't need a mirror or anything to do this. Now we'll capture my left ear. Now it says personalized spatial audio. You have completed your personalized spatial audio setup. I highly recommend this if you enjoy using spatial audio as it enhances the sound overall. However, you can customize your spatial audio if it's something you don't like, or maybe you do like, but don't want to hear it all of the time. So if we go in and maybe play a song now, if you're listening to music, you'll want to customize this based on your preference. So if we go into control center, press and hold on the AirPods, you'll see here in the bottom, right? It says spatialized stereo off. This is because this track doesn't support spatial audio because it's not built in with Dolby Atmos. It's actually not something it offers. You can sort of have it fake spatial audio by turning it on to fixed or allow it to have head tracking. 
if you don't want any of those, regardless of what you're watching, whether it be TV or you're listening to spatial audio music, you can turn this off altogether or change it to fixed. If it's on head tracked, as you move your head around, it will sound as though it's coming from the device you're paired to. So just keep that in mind. I think a lot of people didn't really realize you can customize the overall spatial audio that way. Some people love it. Some don't. I prefer to use it all the time when I can, if the track is meant for it. Otherwise I listen to it with it off. Now, by default, Apple does not allow noise cancellation with just one AirPod. However, you can customize this, whether you just can't hear out of one ear and you want noise cancellation in one, or maybe you just want it to be quiet in one ear so you can hear something different. You can enable this in settings. If you go into settings, scroll down, go to accessibility. This time you can also access accessibility from the AirPods menu. Under accessibility, scroll down until you see AirPods and Beats. Under AirPods and Beats, tap on your AirPods Pro 2, scroll down and you'll see noise cancellation with one AirPod. If you want to enable it, you can enable it and it will also still work with two, but it will allow it to work with just one now as well. So this is up to you, of course, if you want to customize it. Additionally, with AirPods Pro second generation, it allows for volume swipes, and then you can adjust the duration of this. So in order to adjust the volume now, you can use the AirPod itself. Simply hold the AirPod and swipe your finger up and down. This will adjust the overall volume of the track you're listening to. This can be disabled or enabled depending on what you want to do. You can see it here as I adjust it up. It is sort of a difficult sort of touch gesture. Sometimes it works well. Sometimes it doesn't. You'll see it popping up on my phone here, but as you adjust it, you can adjust the volume up and down or back down, but typically you want to hold one side and swipe up and down and then it will work. So it works well, but again, it has a duration you can set. So it may, may take you a little bit longer to do, or you can set it to longest. So that's one thing that you can customize on AirPods pro two. Also, you can customize the press speeds. This was there before as well, but if you want to change it, so when you squeeze the duration can be changed here also. Now also keep in mind the option to turn off the volume swipe is part of iOS 16.1. So by the time you're watching this, if you don't have that update installed, or maybe you're not on betas, this feature may not be there yet, but once 16.1 is available to the public, or it could be by the time you're watching this, this option will be there. Additionally, I wanted to share two more tips that might be helpful for you if you have AirPods, and this is not specific just to AirPods Pro second generation. Now, again, if you're in accessibility, go to audio slash visual. Under audio slash visual, you'll see headphone accommodations. If you want to customize the overall EQ for your headphones, you can go into custom audio setup. This will actually customize it for phone calls, movies and music, audiogram, and customized transparency mode. If you tap on continue and follow the steps, I don't have an audiogram, so I'll tap on don't use, and it will say, look for a quiet environment. Audio customization will take about five minutes. And in the first task, you'll listen to audio of someone speaking. Once you've placed your AirPods in your ears, tap continue, and it will bring you through a series of steps saying, can you hear someone speaking? Yes or no. This will customize this to your ears themselves. So let me customize this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Once you complete, it says the standard settings are best for you. Tap done. And now it's been customized. So you can enable this or disable this however you'd like. And now you have a custom EQ. The last feature I wanted to share has to do with being able to hear what your iPhone is hearing from a distance. You can enable this first by going into your control center and then tapping on the ear. If you don't have the ear there, all you need to do is go into your settings, go to control center, scroll down, and you'll see that we already have it added here. It says hearing, but if you don't have hearing, make sure you add it, then go into your control center, press and hold or tap on hearing, then tap on live listen and you'll see live listen. Now I can hear everything coming through the bottom of the iPhone. And so it's an easy way to hear what's coming through and listen to something at a distance. Maybe you're having trouble hearing someone. Maybe there's a lot of ambient noise. You could set your iPhone, maybe at a press conference or maybe in a classroom, set it at a distance and you'll be able to hear what they're hearing through the microphone on the phone itself projected back to your ears. So those are five tips plus a couple bonus tips to help you get the most out of your AirPods pro second generation. If there's any others I missed that maybe you think are very important, I'd 
love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.